ni kifurushi cha super halo kutoka Hal Hotel. Piga nyota moja nne nane nyota sita sita alama ya reli. Chagua namba mbili super halo. Hal Hotel pamoja katika ubora. First of all, uh, what is the purpose of your visit to Tanzania? Thank you for that question. Um, the main purpose of my visit is to attend uh, this conference here in Arusha, which is a conference put on jointly with the uh, Judiciary of Tanzania um, and the World Bank. Um, and it sprang out of um, a conversation that I had with Professor Juma, the Chief Justice of Tanzania, in Washington DC in December 2017 for um, uh, my legal team's Law, Justice and Development Week. And Professor Juma was uh, attending there, he was a panelist on one of our sessions. Um, and in addition, he was really taken by some of the topics that were discussed in relation to gender issues, uh, the, session, the, the whole week we were covering gender related issues, and the challenges that women have uh, because they are women, uh, and particularly in relation to access to justice. And he decided to come and see me, and we had a very nice conversation. And the idea came up of why not hold um, you know, a conference here in Arusha with the judiciary from Sub Saharan Africa to focus specifically on gender related issues. And such a conference on gender has not, uh, the judiciary has not happened uh, before, so it's historic in that sense. So that's, that's the main reason I'm here. Uh, the other uh, part of the, uh, the visit. Uh, which happened in Dar es Salaam, uh, are visiting the projects that the World Bank has funded in relation to the judiciary. And um, we went to uh, Kigabo Kigaboni? Kigaboni. Kigaboni. Kigaboni um, in uh, Dar to see a particular court project, which was amazing. These uh, The citizen-centric um, judicial modernization project that the World Bank has, has funded is, is hugely impressive. And the bit that impressed me the most is the, um, the mobile courts, because they really reach out to rural areas, which means they reach women uh, who often cannot be reached. So it, 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 it's really, the, that was the second purpose of the visit, and I, I've been very impressed by everything the uh, Tanzanian judiciary has been doing and will be doing. Um, and this, pro this conference is, is just part of that, and I think it shows the vision and the foresight that Professor Juma, the Chief Justice, and the Tanzanian judiciary have because they're really spearheading uh, this reform and this change. When we talk about gender and gender equality, we're talking about equality. We're not talking about more or less than um, uh, the boys and men have. It's um, with women, 50%, I think, maybe here in Tanzania, there's slightly more than 50% of the population. It simply means by, if you do not strive for gender equality, you're missing out that 50-51% of the population. It's that simple. Um, and to ensure that that 50-51% to 51 can contribute equally in the same way to their families, their communities, to their country, as the boys can, is what gender equality is about. And I don't think anyone is denying the fact that something like gender-based violence can also um, affect boys, either directly because uh, you know they're the victims of, of violence, or indirectly because their mothers, sisters, uh, whoever are the victims of violence. And that's the issue about gender-based violence. It really affects everybody, not just the survivor of violence. Everybody in the family is touched by that violence. Um, so I think training is a, is a key one, and that is something that I think is good to come out of the conference, is what do the judges want? What is it that people want to see? Where is it that the bank can help with and help the governments uh, put in particular programs? So some solid takeaway ideas that are real and can make a real difference that people can see. Now.